another reaction video, y'all. It's your boy Cam. Back at it again with another reaction video, y'all. If you're not part of the camp, then make sure to hit that like and like subscribe. Man, if you like the video, then click on the like button because you're going to Twitch. Today, we're reacting to Tara Mary admits to schedule sex with husband. You guys, what do you guys think? I think it's normal. <laughs> I, I don't think this is really like very shocking or anything like that. Like to be intimate with your partner is a lot easy, easier when you're not busy, right? And like Tara Mari is a millionaire, right? She's got her own company. She's got her own business. She's busy, you guys. And so is her husband. He's an actor. He's a rapper, you guys. He's got his own stuff going on. So when you're both busy, it's hard. And you have two kids and stuff like that. So you once you get busy, it's easy to get absorbed into your life. And there's nothing wrong with scheduling intimate time with your partner. I don't think that's a bad thing. For me, hey, babe, I know you're going to watch this video. Let me know what you think about it. I, for me, ladies, let me know. Fellas, let me know how you guys feel about it. Do you feel like it becomes a job? I've heard a lot. I read the comments. A lot of dudes are like, that becomes a job or something like that. I don't know, y'all. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. But yeah, let's dive into the video. You know who we are. The most like dangerous normal. morning show. I feel like it's the, respect on the Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne Tha Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, if you just joined us, we're talking about scheduling sex. Now, where did this come from? NV definitely got a beard implant. This came from Tia Mari on the What to Expect podcast, where she was talking about how she has a busy schedule, she has kids, and. She and her husband, Corey Hardrick, have to schedule when they'll be intimate to make sure their sex life is not neglected. What's wrong with that? I mean, I, I think it's, um, I don't think it's the sexiest thing. I think that sounds more like a job. What do you mean? Like, you know what I mean? I, I, like, I knew I, like it. See, I knew that was coming. Like, I'm, I'm like, okay, we, like, that just seems like we got to have sex Tuesday at 12 o'clock. Be there. Like, that doesn't seem. But you can make sexy. it sexy. That if, if you say it like exactly. that, it doesn't sound Facts. sexy now. If you say it like. Exactly. All right, baby. So let's see. You get home at this time. You're traveling here. You come home then. So I'm going to surprise you. We're going to have an amazing <laughs> date. So let's schedule. get ready for that. <laughs> How's the surprise if it's on the schedule? It's on the schedule, but you don't know what she's going to do. That's Facts. the surprise. You don't know what he's going to do. I mean, right? I, I like, wouldn't want to schedule sex. I mean, don't get me wrong. Up. It's a great appointment to have. Both but, uh, of their wives scheduling sex are negate, at home. Like, impromptu like, sex, like all the impromptu sex that you know, can possibly go And I'm not trying to down. throw any shade to people. Not no, that's not to say that you can't sometimes have spontaneous sex when you can. But yeah. at least you know on these dates you're getting some. Yeah, now that I think about it, I might be on a schedule. Like, weekends are made for Michelob. Okay, you yeah. know, we, we, we got kids, we're Thank hustling you. during the week. You know what I'm saying? But that's like, not a schedule. You, it's not every Saturday at 8. I mean, you know it's the yeah, weekend. You, you just know during the weekend, the, Friday, Saturday, like, that's the days you at home. Exactly. You're cooling out. You know what I mean? Kids that's a schedule. Kids being by 8 o'clock, 9. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's different. That's right. a schedule. I like it. I think it's to make sure that you're not like neglecting it. the other person or neglecting sex. Because sometimes you can get so busy, you be like, damn, we ain't even had sex in two weeks because we've been so busy and tired. And when I think about right. scheduling sex, I think about that cheeks. Tyler Perry movie. I think it was a Tyler Perry movie. It was a movie with Sanai Lathan. Have, and Sanai Lathan, I, I think, that. was the side chick. And she was creeping with the white husband. And she used to have to be at this hotel Every week on a certain day, and then I'm one day, because the wife found out about the schedule, so one day she looked up and the wife was standing there. So I think about that when I think about appointment sex. You think, think about, about cheating movie. and Tyler Perry? Yeah, what, what was the name of that was movie? Was that the family that prays? Was that it? I don't remember. I just That's know that the, 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 Snyder Lathan was the side chick, and they had scheduled sex with the, with the white husband. Is that one, is it like Medea's Merry Christmas or something? I don't know. I don't remember what it was. I don't remember if it was a Medea movie or not. I think Hello? it's the family that prays. Hello, who's this? It's D. Hey, D, what's going on? What up, D? We want to hear from you this morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, 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 when is D on you the win? schedule? <laughs> <laughs> hey, as far as scheduling says, man, I personally don't have a problem with it, especially if it's a busy couple, you know, but that doesn't mean that, you know, Thanks. that's going to take away from the spice, the spontaneous. You can still have I those things. I don't think so, man. Sure. This day you week, guys bring I'm the spice. Give you <laughs> it gives you something to look forward to. <laughs> Why do men giggle when they say that? This day we're gonna, I'm gonna, gonna give me some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So that's yeah. my point of view on that, man. It don't, it don't, it don't matter. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you. All right, thank you. Hello, who's this? All right, you guys. Look, I know I can. There's a whole video, but I'm not gonna watch the whole video. Like I said, I, I'm glad I got their opinions. I think Angela Yee gets it. Like. You bring the spice, right? You bring the spontaneity to your relationship, right? And I feel like a lot of people make excuses for why they don't want to spend intimate time with their partner. But I don't feel like Tara Marie is doing that. She's doing the opposite. She's actually trying to be, they're both being considerate of 
each other's feelings by saying, hey, we are both busy. We are both entrepreneurs. We are both have our own thing going on right now. And since we're both busy, we should schedule time to where we want to spend time with each other to get intimate with one another. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, you guys. I think that that's what grown adults do, busy adults do. You know, like I said, when you have less time, when you have less things to do, obviously that shit comes easy, right? But there are times where it just doesn't and you are busy in your life and you have kids, you have you, your parents to take care of. So maybe, maybe you, maybe you, one of your kids has, he needs more attention than the others, right? Like there are, you know, circumstances that sometimes take precedent over you, over your sex life, right? But I'll tell you this, there's nothing wrong with trying to balance it all out, you guys. And we all try our best to do that. And, and like I said, I, much respect to them for talking about it because a lot of people do. I mean, you heard Charlemagne and Envy say, oh, on the weekend, that's when we get some cheeks, right? Because that's when you're at home. That's a schedule. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to talk about. Like, and, and no offense to them, but, I, but let's keep it a buck. I'm pretty sure that Charlemagne's wife doesn't work. I think, I think, I'm not, I'm not, and I think that Envy's wife doesn't work either. Um, I'm pretty sure, I don't know 100%, correct me in the comment section. But anyways, my point is this, is that if you have a caregiver at home, it makes things a lot easier because they're not having to travel, they're not having to get on a train or a bus to come home, right? It's, they're, they're figuring out dinner, right? And it makes things a lot easier because they're at home, right? And I'm not saying they're not as tired. I'm saying that it makes things easier, right? But when you have somebody else who's an entrepreneur, you have another entrepreneur, right? And they're both traveling everywhere and they're not near each other. It's hard to be intimate, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, let me know how you feel about it. Man, I don't got that issue. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hey babe, hey babe, I didn't mean to put you on blast, but you know what I mean? I don't got that issue. I don't got that problem. You know what I mean? But anyway, <laughs> anyways, I think that, I think it's a healthy thing to do. And it's something that when I become busy or if it ever does happen, I would, I wouldn't mind doing it. Right. Because I want my girl, shout out to you, babe. I want my girl to always feel like she's a priority in my life and that our relationship is always a priority because I honestly feel like our relationship is over when one party stops trying, when one party stops committing to trying to make the relationship work. And that and intimacy is, is a large part of a relationship. It's not everything, but it is a large part, you guys. Ladies, fellas, let me know. Do you schedule, you know what I mean, D appointments with your with your significant other? You know what I mean? Fellas, let me know. Do you think it's sexy? Do you not? I think you, look, I think, like I said, you could spice it up in whatever way you want to. I'm not here to give you advice, you know what I mean? But there are ways. But anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So thank you to everybody who's joined the Cam Fam thus far. But yeah, y'all, join the Cam Fam. We lit on this side. But yeah, y'all, I'm a... Catch you in the next video. Peace.